My dad told me that we um, were going down to Raleigh, and also there's this big anime convention going on that same weekend, and so I also got excited about that because I'm newly obsessed with uh, the anime Sailor Moon. Well, this is my second amazement. Um, last year was my first year. Um, it's really just being able to have fun, get together with a group of friends, and just enjoy life and what you see as like your closet hobby, and just be able to do it out in the public and enjoy it. Kids like us get messed with out in public, out at schools, just because of what you do wear. Even here, like she said, no matter what you're wearing, people are here to support. just the Japanese culture. I think just in general, a lot of conventions have aspects of anime. They have aspects of just so many different things, superheroes, other things like that. But we embrace the Japanese culture. We kind of use the Japanese culture and the Japanese ambassadors that we basically have, our friends in Japan, our guests, to merge our cultures together. The mission of it is to foster, to use anime, to use popular culture, to foster this greater understanding between the U.S. and Japan, specifically here in Raleigh. We have tea ceremonies, we have etiquette classes on just Japanese culture in general. We bring animators, animators the animator support group, Japanese animator supporters, who anime is a big part of their culture just in general. It brings in cultural guests. We have taiko drummers, we have shamisen players, we have idiots like me that talk about the value of international education, uh, both Japanese coming here and uh, uh, American people going to Japan. Um, we came out to our, our, our first one really having no idea what to expect, but we were, we were really welcomed by the other vendors that were around, by the participants that were coming in, and it just turned out to be kind of a great experience for us. I think that's like one of the hidden gems of Animazement, is coming to the Artist Alley. This is uh, Fanboy Glass's sixth year at Animazement, so we are ready to roll. The Artist Alley at this convention in particular is far beyond that of any convention I've ever been to. The amount of energy, the amount of spirit that people have coming to Animazement is amazing. Like it's pouring outside, but people are happily waiting in line. The local artists, like, and it's nice because you can sit and chat with them too, and like they will talk with you about stuff, and it's great. It, it, it just shows like the community. And as a local artist, seeing these sellers, it really it makes you feel good about where the money's going because it's supporting someone who's just like you, and it really means a lot. You know, and it's got to be a huge economic boost for the city, right? I, if you just look at the numbers, all these people coming in, they're all staying somewhere, they're all eating somewhere, uh, you know, and I mean, some world-class places to eat around here and have some good time. So, you know, I think huge bonus for the, for the local economy, obviously. It doesn't stop at all. It brings in money from as far away from as Oklahoma, as Texas, as Ohio. People drive all day to be here and you know fill up every hotel in the nearby area. The Marriott Hills, the Sheridan Hills. Well, uh, my impression so far here at Ed Amazement has been phenomenal. It's just a it's a wonderful community, and we've been to a you know a fair number of cons, and this one is absolute our favorite.